Hello and welcome. Let's add some epic shake effects to your video. We're gonna just import a video clip, drag it to the timeline. We're gonna get some music and also drag it to the timeline. Let's get some more space on the timeline and let's make sure we have a separate audio track where I'm gonna put the music. Let's just jump to the beginning and I'm just gonna mute the music for now. And the filter we're gonna use is the audio dance visualization that's the main thing we're going to use we're going to also use other filters later if we use it and try it out right now there's no effect because this actually uses the audio of this video clip if we lower the threshold sorry if we make it more sensitive then it actually reacts to the white noise in the video recording but we don't want that. We want to use the music. So what I'm going to do is just mute this, enable the music. But it doesn't have an effect. We have to pre-render this again. So let's make some copies of this clip. And just paste it. And I'm going to cut this here and delete this part. We're going to render this so we can work with it later. So let's press the export button and let's go to lossless. And I'm going to use H.264 for this. And I'm just going to export it. LL3, that's my lossless file. I'm going to have to wait for this to export. So here's the video. And now let's use this lossless file with audio and video. We're going to drag it to a timeline. And we're going to add again the audio dance visualization filter to it and you can see it reacts pretty much pretty well already a bit too sensitive maybe so let's set the threshold to a bit higher or rather lower so now it reacts when the music actually starts pumping better and doesn't react as much in the beginning just by moving the threshold. We can also make it only react to the bass by lowering the frequency to which it responds. And we can do the same for higher frequencies. Right, so we have to move the threshold for that. All right, so now it kind of reacts to the bells kind of sounds in this track as well. But I prefer bass and lower frequencies. What else we can change is, uh, for example, shaking. We can make it shake up, down, left, right. But this adds black borders, which is annoying. We can also limit it to one axis. Let's remove left, right. That's kind of cool. Or we can make it only shake left, right. That's freaking crazy, though. Keep your values low. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Combined with the movement in the video, this is pretty epic. We can also pre-zoom. Uh, the initial zoom, we can set it to higher so that the black borders get avoided. And we can actually zoom out when there are hits, when the effect is actually applied. So that's a solution to prevent the black borders. And we can change the sensitivity or other uh, rapidness of this movement. Let's set oscillation to zero. Let's zoom a little less. And if we set oscillation to much higher, we can see it's much more rapid and much more aggressive. So staying in the middle is probably a good idea. Or rather on the low end. Ah, this seems too low. Yep, 5 is a nice one. And also we have rotation. Oh boy, let's, let's go crazy nuts and let's set it really low, the oscillation. Because if we set the oscillation to... Oh my! crazy high then this is just sickening 
But in general, these clockwise and counterclockwise rotations are just too much. I wouldn't go more than 3 degrees, to be honest. So this is the audio dance visualization filter, but we can add some more. Audio, light visualization. This can add flashes, so let's just only enable light visualization alone. And we're gonna put it in this corner, make it a bit bigger. We can change the color. That is quite ugly though. Maybe something yellowish and we can set the transparency as well. That's better. And we can also control the oscillation here. We can have it quite soft or insanely rapid. And again, the frequency response is also controllable. So is the threshold. Let's make this redder. And these are good when you use multiple of these. So let's add another audio light visualization. Put it in the other corner over here. Make it quite a bit bigger as well. And uh, let's just try and take a look. Okay. Now this is just constant flickering. I don't like that too much. Let's make uh, the f oscillation a bit lower. Yep, yeah, this is much better, much better. Let's make this one react only to bass. All right, they are not in sync anymore. That's very good. So this is how you can do this in Shotcut. Make sure to subscribe to support this channel and have fun making crazy videos. See you next time. Ciao.